Yes, I want you to introduce our Did guest guess- because I feel like you will give it more passion because of the lack of knowledge well, on, look, my, on my behalf. You got to help me hold on, as Travis Stewart says. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting to get me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I really did love to help me hold on. I Come love on that song, dog. You, on what, what was the one? I can't hide the way I feel about, about her. you, you anymore. <laughs> oh, that's one. Uh-huh. Bring a tear to a glass eye. Hey, let's introduce our guest. Well, this next uh, guest, it's time for our 15 minutes of flame. Oh, there's that picture of me I, I so love. You love with your Tasmanian devil Look uh, at it. tattoo. Look at it. It's still there. No, I think I got it covered up. Yeah, I got that one covered up. Where, uh, if you have not heard us do this segment, if you're new to the show, uh, we bring in somebody from the independent wrestling circuit, and this is a chance for Dog to yep. hear about them, learn about them. 15 minutes of I have heard a lot about this next individual. I just don't have a lot of personal uh, knowledge, and that's what this is all about. So, Cassio, I quit interrupting you, and I'll let you do your thing. We know Travis Stewart's from where the corn don't grow, but this (laughs) young lady is eat up with corn, and we're going to get to that. She Mm. is 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Some people (laughs) call her T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Ladies and gentlemen... (laughs) The you conduit of karma, Kaya McKenna. Kaya, 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 Kaya. I promise I won't be too much T R O U B L E for you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there oh, we go. go. Probably there met, she is. Um, nobody like a like a Emmy, a Y O U. Oh, yes. Got a Y O U. Is that how that song goes? I think it yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now I don't know how that part goes. <laughs> you, yeah, but it does say, you know, why are you? And nothing about the world. in the world. You yeah. doing the world. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. good looking mama, too. That's yes, the, there it yeah. is. <laughs> oh, a good looking. If I were to hit good yeah. looking mama, too, we would have it. good looking mama, too. Okay, so what we supposed to talk about wrestling, from what I understand. <laughs> I, mean, I love Travis, too, but we can definitely so, talk about it. So, so <laughs> Kaya, I'm, I'm just going to ask you. How long you been working? Oh my gosh. I have been working for three years, but I was out for a year and a half with a shoulder injury. So it really oh, okay. be like about two right about now, if that's fair to say. Yeah. Did you have surgery on your shoulder? I did. I'm um, from Nova Scotia, so I say things differently. So no, I did. It was um, um, I'm, n- I'm not. Yeah. From, so, so, so you did have surgery on I it. I did. And I got how, it and Do you have full uh, range of motion, everything? Sure do. Good for you. Nice. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Well, you're young. You know what I mean? And so that you're kind of pliable when you're young. Well, <laughs> like you could break and kind of heal quicker. It's also um, like how much you put into it and recovering, right? Uh, of course. Like, yeah. And how, how smart you are when you do it. Yeah. Um, so I was I just, very diligent. <laughs> I just snorted pain pills. But but anyway, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't advise doing that, Kaya. I wouldn't advise no, doing do that. do physical therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do what y'all kids do these days. <laughs> Don't do the North Dallas 40 version that I did. Um, <clears throat> hey, so where do you work right now? So I am based out of Maryland. So I work a lot of Jersey, New York, like that area. Do um, you do I, the, the, uh, uh, what are they, what, what's MLW or M, what do they do? I have not had the fortune of doing MLW yes, just yet, but it, okay. it's on my list for this year. Okay. I, I work New England. I'll do Beyond Wrestling. Oh, M, it's way. MCW. I screwed oh, that up. I have, I actually have worked for MCW. I've worked for Dan there. He's wonderful. That's great. Yeah, yeah Corporal there. Punishment. Yeah. Um, Dude, yeah. I've, known, I've known Corporal Punishment for probably 30 years. <laughs> Oh and that's just the truth. I got, a a chan- I got a chance to hook up with him again, and I'm sorry I'm wasting your 15 minutes. Let's give her 17 a, minutes, truck. I'm yeah, hearing 17 fine. minutes. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, it got a chance to hook up with him again uh, during the the Ric Flair stuff, and and, and what a pleasure uh, he is. But anyway, I, enough about him. Um, so you worked for him a couple of times. I have. I've worked for him. I'll work up in New England. I'll do Beyond and Blitzkrieg Pro. I'll okay. work in the Midwest for Dreamwave SCW Pro. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around WrestleMax in St. Louis. I go down south. I work for Matt Griffin at Action. Um, oh wow. Carino at PWF. I've really just tried to prioritize. Who, who Carino? Spot. Who Carino? Colby Carino. Colby Carino. So what? <laughs> what does he do? 
Um, he's a wrestler. Um, yeah, no, 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 I know yeah, Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> I know well, Kobe. I just didn't know if, does he have a little Yeah, there's like a little, or a little promotion down there. He has a hand in. Oh, okay. Like, awesome. Like awesome. PWF, I was unaware of that. Premier Wrestling Federation. It runs in Newport, North Carolina. So I'm going to debut there on the 26th. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Say that one more time. I will de be debuting there on the 26th of January. For, for in, uh, for what was it called? Uh, Premier Wrestling Federation, PWF. PWF. There we go. Uh, yeah, there it is. All the Carinos are probably behind that. There's a whole family of them. I don't know if Allison you knew that. has always been very good to me. <laughs> She's mentor. great. Little She's wrestling. actually the She's only one I like. Mentor. She's just I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, that's a, that's a jab at Steve, uh, because I know he'll take it personally. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kidding, Steve. I love you. Um, <laughs> So, so do ask you, where do she, they, ask her where she trained. You're going to love that. Oh, where did you train? I trained at black and brave with Seth and Merrick. Oh, oh. Who, wait, who, who is Merrick? Merrick brave. Um, was Seth, Tyler Black's tag partner when they worked the independence. I did not, I was not aware of that. And it's a very, very close dear friend of his. That wow. Well, I knew he had the, had the place there and, I, but I yeah. wasn't aware of the tag partner, uh, situation correlation but that's super cool so do you mind if i ask i'm not going to ask how much it was i'm not going to ask anything like that but but what was your training like was it was it a scheduled training regiment and then you got a date where you got to wrestle or how did that play out All weeks, they really want you to be in shape they want you to be an athlete yeah. because it's very important in this business yeah because you, you should be in here right yeah. <laughs> i agree yeah. um they want you to be able to keep yourself and your opponents safe. They have a 12 week program. It yeah. is very extremely structured. Um, I know Merrick has a whole syllabus that he yeah, goes yeah. off of as to like the order in which they teach everything. So it all compounds and builds yeah. upon what you learned the previous weeks. It's not just arbitrary shit. Pardon yeah. my French, but no, when you go no to I speak a lot like, of languages. You so guys want to do some rules today? Uh, okay, well, let's run this spot. Um, uh, who wants to learn something? Oh, you want to learn drop kicks? Okay, we'll yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> None of that. Very regimented and it's um very they're very hands on and they want to make sure that we are all capable of being very successful when we leave right. there. And so I, look, I think that's that's a smart business plan, right? Mm -hmm. We send you out into the world and you don't bury our name yeah. uh, well, with yeah. you but by by paralyzing somebody. Uh, or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it ain't it ain't ballet. And so look, I love to hear that because to, if you've ever seen this or, or listened to me before, I wasn't professionally trained like I just trained with my brothers and stuff but then I met people like X-Pac was my first interaction to like somebody who was properly trained and it was a whole different world you know what I mean and so nowadays that, that safety that you just talked about in my opinion is the biggest reason to get to get uh properly trained and, and professionally trained and it's not only to protect yourself but to protect others like you just said and so man that's a that's really cool um how much was it? No, I told you I wasn't going to ask that. <laughs> you can look up. I did also want to add, I think, what sets their program apart. Because, like, the physical get-in-the-ring part of wrestling yeah. is what it is. It's like doing the tango, there's doing the wrestling, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing that really sets it apart is the psychology component that Seth brings to the table. The way he thinks about wrestling. The structure yeah. of wrestling. Like, the order in which things need to happen in the match in order for things to make sense. To yeah. build two things. To tease and revisit to tell stories over a series of matches just that in-depth psychology lesson that yeah. we get throughout the program really i think sets us apart because everybody does the physical part but not a lot of people really understand like the why or the when or the how wow. and i think that's the biggest competitive advantage is just having him as a resource and he's just this brilliant wrestling mind that thinks of this and, business in a way nobody uh, agreed 100 percent. how how uh um what word can I use? How uh, approachable and how um, available was he Very during, during your 12 weeks? Very available. I mean, I trained during the pandemic too. So I think he oh, had okay. a little bit more time to be there. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. He's always there for the classes. He's always involved. And I know that wow. post graduating, like he's been a great resource. I can send him a match for a review. I can send him a message about a question I have. Like, I don't think this is hitting or this is a problem I'm having, or how can I maximize this spot or this yeah. move or I feel like I'm stuck. Like he's always available and he does get back to you in a pretty reasonable time frame. So I, I tell you what, you have. that is deep ogre. Cause, cause I don't, uh, I don't hear people. 
uh, talking about wrestling the way you're talking about it. So, so I, I'm already impressed with whatever they're teaching over there or whatever they're putting in the water. Um, but because there is more to it. And, and look, I also love the part that you said about, look, the dan- the wrestling is the wrestling, mm-hmm. because if you want to be quite honest, and I say this a lot, that's the part that matters the least. <laughs> it's all about character. It's all about storytelling. It's all about, uh, the, the glitz and glamour, for, but, but man, the wrestling is, is it's cool to learn and then to be safe and to not hurt everybody. It's not just cool. It's mandatory, but man, it's just the, it's not the important part. So when you said like, that's like the tango, it is, you just change the moves every now and then and do, do the dance, but, but to start thinking at it on a level that, that you are is kudos to that school. What, what's it called again? Uh, black and brave, black and brave, like black I mean, and brave. Because your Iowa. your team, black and brave. Because you said like us. When yeah, you said we are. Exactly. <laughs> I love are. that. I love they that. Are. Hey, words matter. And uh, other, you know? yeah, and that's ownership. Um, so super cool to to black and brave in in uh, Davenport, Iowa. Cool. Did you super go up cool. there specifically to train with them? I did because I had started wrestling in the backyard in Maryland and I was like, this is not sustainable. If I want to have a career, I need to go get trained. It's fun. Trust me. I think there's the most fun you will ever have is yarding because there are no rules and you're just having fun, but again, not sustainable for a wrestling career. So I was looking at schools and at the time I was living in Washington, DC, there are plenty of good schools up in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York area, but with traffic, that's going to be like a four or five hour commute one way. Yeah, I was working yeah. a full time job and I was like, okay, if I'm going to spend all this money, all this time, wear and tear on my car, like I'm just going to like go somewhere for three months and then not have to deal with the emotional toll of sitting in traffic every single day for six, yeah. or six months or nine months or a year, because a lot of wrestling programs don't do it in 12 weeks, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. and also that they're just the best that you could probably go to. So why wouldn't anybody want to go there? Yeah. 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 Well, I look, I, I, well, you won't find any argument here. I don't I know if any other to commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it does on commitment on your behalf, but, yeah. but was it, was it a culture shock for you to go from DC to I- Iowa? <laughs> Not really because I'm from a smaller town in Maryland. Oh, okay. So okay. it was yeah. very similar to that. Um, I thought it was refreshing, honestly. Yeah, like, I was, I, I was, that's where I was headed with that was, I bet it <laughs> yeah. was a, a breath of fresh air, uh, to get out of all that for a minute and at least be able to calm down and focus on your, on your wrestling. So that's, man, that's super cool. So what have you, what have you done that you're really proud of in the, in the industry that you're, you can point us to, to watch and stuff? Oh my goodness. Okay. So something that was really important for me, because I was a little bit of an ugly duckling when I started wrestling, I had to train very, very hard. Despite having an athletic background, it was not something that came very naturally. So I was kind of like at the bottom of the pile, but I worked really, really hard. And I was one of one of 29 women to make the PWI 500 when they decided to include women. And I thought that was such a cool thing. Wow. It's like, there's only one, there'd be many after, but there's only like one. When did they start? including and why did they just start 2021 yeah yeah what? and i was the first female black and grave black and brave graduate to make that list so that wow congratulations really, thank you and i know it's just a list but to me that was a huge career thing because i think it spoke volumes to the work i had put in i still have the i still have the plaque that says pwi huh. tag team of the year you know what i mean like i still I have the, yeah i still that stuff matters especially in this phony baloney career uh where s- somebody said you were good enough to that we said you were the best tag team here you know what i mean like that's 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 kind of real you know what i mean <laughs> like that's you won that contest so that was that was a real vote hey so you're also a witch from what i, I am <laughs> I was, I was, Were you was, a witch before you got to Iowa or, and they enhanced it or did you develop it there? Tell us about it. I had been kicking around some things I didn't know what I wanted to do for a gimmick, but I know you can't just be like hot girl and hot outfit. Like there's, um, <laughs> it's a thing. There's plenty right. of women yeah, yeah, the right now. There's a lot of, <laughs> of women on the Indies that are hot girls and hot outfits that are athletic. But if you ask them like what their deal is, they're like, I don't know. I put my outfit on and I'm hot and I wrestle. Yeah. And, and that's great. Like if that's you, that's great. But like the me, it goes a little deeper. I wanted something I could kind of build upon that yeah. maybe fans could connect with that I could tell a couple of stories with along the way. So 
Um, I've always been a witch. My family are witches. My aunt's a high priestess. Um, Whoa! Can you get into that? This is living the gimmick. Yeah. Can you like? What does that mean? What does that entail? She's like she's the overlord of a coven of witches. Oh no, 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 no! I mean, like for you personally. Um, oh, for me. Like, what do you what what do you do differently than I do every day? I as a, like as a witch. <laughs> he looks for Eye of Newt a lot. I, don't wanna... okay. I know. I won't turn you into a newt, I promise. <laughs> Please don't. That was one of my favorite signs a fan ever brought at one of my shows, by the way, was Kaya turned me into a newt. And I was like, he got better. He got yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's Bless his heart. Anyways, um, I think that, not to get too deep on it, but one of the things that this practice has been good for me is um, a lot of people put a lot of blind faith in where their life goes and they feel like they have no control or they're very much at the bend or the whim of this whatever force, it is yeah yeah this force that they have to like appease to get what they want out of life and yeah. i do not think that that's the way at all um yeah. our particular practice focuses very highly on like moon phases like energy direction and the idea of not manifestation but setting intentions to achieve your goals and being a highly focused individual like being yeah. able to turn off all the noise in your brain and really use that power that you have within yourself to make what you want happen, happen to like, just think of something 90, a hundred times, just so hyper-focused that it just becomes existence yeah. and that you're taking a more active role in what you get out of this life. You're not just like begging, asking, pleading, like hoping if you do enough of whatever. That yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That you're, that you're you get it. And, and so is that, is it so much about, uh, or, or not so much, but is it, it's more about, living and now then if i live right now i'll live forever or how does that what's that is there an I after think it's about turning off all of the survival instincts we have because we have all these different layers of senses right and the yeah. ones that are the sharpest are the ones that are pivotal pivotal eh, pivotal to our survival so our sight our taste yeah. you know but there are so many of these like little tiny things that if you can just focus on putting energy into them and like develop those, like, like the ability to sense energy around you and read people and feel intuition, like that's a sense and a gift as well. Yeah. It's just on the back burner because it's not critical to our survival. Yeah, because, <laughs> because I got to get a coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being able to like be more intuitive, to like be able to feel and detect energies, to be a part of the different realms, to, yeah. see, to see across the veil and to direct these energies to your favorable outcomes is more the focus yeah. of our practice. Well, that, look, that's super, uh, so many things you just said there are super <laughs> cool. And, and so many that we can, like, you know that the phases of the moon affect stuff. Like, we kind of know that as as a science. It doesn't just cause the ebbs and the tides, but it, it affects people and things and, and the full moons and all that. Um, but But it also... Okay, cool. That's all super cool to me. Like, I feel like that's all really... Cassio, do you have any questions about that or anything? I was just going to say, that's topic. easy for you to dig into, right? I mean, as, it translates as, as, as a to me because I it can be very literal on the surface. Easy read. She's a witch. I feed off the energy of the fans. If I'm yeah. a free face, I rally. If I'm a heel, I still feed off that energy and I just get more aggressive, right? Yeah. Like, if you can on the surface keep in, it very any simple. way you want yeah 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 you can also get very deep with it so it's yeah, for sure for sure and i think look and i and i think you might uh get deep with it for some of your promos you know what i mean i think think you might should should start thinking about that and i'll tell you why but bray wyatt you know what i mean like oh, yeah, he wasn't a I witch he wasn't a gargoyle he wasn't any of that but his promos to, to me sometimes rambled and went in directions i didn't understand sometimes but maybe that wasn't for me, but I think the, but I think the more vague and deep it, it is a little bit, the, the cooler it is, I guess I want to say, you know what I mean? It's not that it's dark magic and it's not that it's magic at all, but, but it's so, so Caesar Milan can control dogs because he can read their body language and he can exude an energy. And I know yes. that to be true. I can't do that. I can't do that, but I know he can, I've seen him do it for years and, and, so, so I know that's a real thing. You know what I mean? And when you started talking about being able to read energies, that's the first thing that, that hit me was training a dog. You know what I mean? Because if you have it to train a dog, 
I guarantee you it's the reason for his success with, with humans too, because mm -hmm. the first person he was ever cleaning dogs for was Oprah Winfrey. And he was washing her dogs and taking care of her dogs out of his van. And he was an illegal alien, but because he had illegal alien, uh, he wasn't, he's not from outer space. He was an, uh, <laughs> he, he was illegally in the country at the time, but he got big friends and got, you know what I mean? And now he's, now he's a bazillionaire, but I guarantee you the very, uh, thing you're talking about here with reading those energies is what's made him successful in, in his line of work. And so, yeah, that's all super cool, man. I, I now I'm interested and I want to see how you're going to incorporate it in the character going forward. Do you have a, uh, go ahead. I love doing a promo. That's like a spell. Like, cause so many people like take a camera and they'll be like, I'm in my bedroom and I'm talking about this match and I'm yeah. going to kick somebody's butt and I'm awesome. And I'm in my bedroom and I'm cool. Yeah. Um, I love when a promoter gives me something I can kind of like sink my teeth into and I can do a spell as my promo. Like yeah. I can do like a cauldron where I'm putting things in it or I can just arrange um, materia in a certain way on the floor and like yeah. the, the candles. I feel like you can be very cinematic and very beautiful with it and maybe yeah. even do like a voiceover instead of it's just you talking. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I, cool. I like that because I think it's different. And I do think you, it's really Do you fun. know how to do that stuff uh, technologically? I do it okay. Um, okay. I will sometimes outsource it. I have a couple yeah. of friends that do video that I they really, really well. like. That's cool. Um, but cool. if it's just me doing it, like I can do it okay. But oh my God, if I had a whole production team, like it would be crazy. <laughs> it would be crazy. Yeah. Like, I well, I'll tell you my... who, uh, I'll tell you who did used to do that. And we actually started using them on the, on the television show mm -hmm. was, uh, Ali, uh, Mustafa oh, really? Ali. Yeah. Um, yeah. he had a guy that did it and they would just do stuff on his off days. And, and I was like, this is incredible. It's kind of, it's kind of, we got to write him into a story just to put his stuff on TV. But, um, where are you the champion anywhere? I have never won a title in my wrestling career. It is on my 2024 list. I have two title matches coming up. See well, let different. me just say this. Any title matches. I have just never corporal punishment, put the title <laughs> on <laughs> The witch, you know hey, what I mean? The witch, uh, the witch, the witch is back. Yeah. Here's the deal. We are rooting for you. Uh, I mean, I just, I could talk to you some more about the, the mentality of getting hurt. You get in the PWI top 500 and then you immediately get hurt and have to deal with that and come and missing a year and a half and just, hurt. you know, yeah. just They're that middle aspect. Now. Because like when you're out injured and there are all these people that are not injured and they're not doing anything, it just makes you angry and it fuels that fire for when you come back. So all you think <laughs> That's is awesome. like, if I wasn't injured, I would be here. I'd be wrestling here. I'd be trying to go there. I'd be helping out here. I would be like horseshit on the trail. I'd be everywhere. Yeah. And these people are in the <laughs> there are people that are in the same spot now that they were when I got injured. And they did nothing with that time that wasn't taken from them. And that yeah. kind of fuels me a little bit, like going into this next year, like I got something to prove. Cause like, I'm not going to waste any of this time now that I have it. But not everybody does that when they get hurt. So that speaks to your, your character. And <laughs> yes, your it does. Well, in your this. drive for what yeah. you look, this is what you want. This is a dream you had and you're chasing it right now. And it sounds like you're not willing to, uh, to, to get off the path. And so good, mm -hmm. good for you. Where can we, uh, Tell us your social media. Yeah, and then yeah. Tell us all that stuff. If they're interested in booking you, tell us that. Uh, yeah, everything. Deal. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got a pretty busy schedule coming up, and all of my social media is slash Kaya M C K. So it's K A I A M C K. Okay. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, whatever. It's all the same handle, so I'm easy to find. I will be, like I said, I'll be in North Carolina PWF on the 28th of January. The 28th, not the 26th. I'm sorry. I will be okay. at Action. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! There we go. Look at that. There's me. Look at me. Looking super witchy. Let's go. Looking um, super witchy. I will be an You had a mask on in that one. Oh, that was a different... That was a guy. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Was that cruel? Who was that? I think that might have been cruel. Yeah, that is cruel. <laughs> that was yeah. cruel, yeah. Yeah, that is cruel. I just... um, IWTV champion cruel. <laughs> Every um... time Don takes his glasses off, Don puts it back on the screen. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I will I'm okay. Be at action Don. Wrestling um, on the 26th in Noonan, Georgia. Um, I love working at Action. Last time I was there, I wrestled Billy Starks. So I'm really who, excited. Uh, who oh, who runs great. down there? Who's running it? Yeah. Uh, Matt Griffin. JC Matt... North. JC uh, North. NWA Wildside, yes. Oh, is that right? JC mm -hmm. North. He works as Australian <laughs> Jack right out back. Hey, uh, no, but Noonan, Georgia. That's mm -hmm. where Alan Jackson's from. 
Is it really? Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, he lives like know. way down yonder near the Chattahoochee. Right. Anyway, oh, let's. Uh... I'll be at Wrestling <laughs> Open in February, a couple of weeks up in Worcester. So those are Thursday nights. Stay tuned. I'll have that locked down for you as they get closer because it's a rotating thing every week. Yeah. I have Pro Wrestling Magic where I'll be challenging Rebecca J. Scott for the championship on February 3rd. Mm, it I has have... magic in the name. <laughs> yeah, I have Remarkable Wrestling, which is a promotion in New York. I'm wrestling Leela Gray for their tam- is- championship on the 10th. That's and then remarkable. in Tri-State Wrestling, which runs in the Cincinnati area, I'll be wrestling Alexis Littlefoot there. And then I'll be at WrestleMax in St. Louis on February 24th. And I do not know my match there yet, but you should come out because KLD runs an amazing promotion there. It's super family friendly and just good, like old school, great wrestling. So awesome. please come see me in all these various places all over the country. <laughs> Quick, can we put, uh, can we put that? her calendar up or something so i have a graphic I don't know. with all my dates on it i can send to you send it to yeah, do, that. <laughs> do that do that please yeah. um and and we can we can send that out or share that or something and I, that might help uh, on we may do that going forward mm-hmm. uh ask all our talent to do that and then it makes it easier for us to share their stuff and help them out in that in that way so it hey reminds me of when bands would do like tour posters yeah and I yeah, a lot yeah. Of wrestlers do like the you should book me graphic and i'm like great why but um, how about here's where you can come see me. And then yeah. if somebody wants to book you, they see like, oh, wait, Kaya doesn't have anything on the 12th. Let me hit her up, you know, yeah. there and we just go. Get information on that. So that's kind of how I went. The other way just seems hungry. Yeah. The other way, the other way is just a little bit. Hey, book me, please. <laughs> please. Why? you going to make me money? you going to put some butts in my seat? Hey, me. uh. So, so are you are you happy with where your work is? I know we've probably gone way too long, and I'm yep. sorry. Um, that's fine. <laughs> I wanted. I was not actually. This is a good question. I was not actually really happy with how my comeback went. I had all these grand plans to just take the world by storm, and I did not do that. Um, I lost a lot of my matches. I just, you know, didn't yeah. get to work the places I wanted to work. I had a lot of opportunities go to other people. And it was really, really hard for me because I had just put a year and a half of work in. So I was upset about that. And then, understandably, you know, I'm getting back to it in 2024. It's okay. I feel like sometimes it takes a little bit of time to reinsert yourself into the ecosystem, but they're all going to know I'm here because in that time off, I had been working on, um, I was like, okay, what, what's, what do I need to work on here? Like what, why am I not appealing? Like what, what is, what am I dropping the ball on here? Not even like what other people are doing, but what could I do better? And I realized that I needed to have a mental shift in my intensity when I wrestle, that I might be this cute little bubbly witch, but I cannot be a cute little bubbly wrestler. I need to go in there and I need to rip people up and eat them alive because at the end of the day, we all want to see a fight. And if it's a lot of hot girls, I'm rooting for the hot girl that's killing those other girls. I'm not rooting for the hot girl that's there. So I had that shift in my mindset of like, I need to go out and kill. Like, I need to treat this like if I don't win this match, if I'm not in it to win this match, like, yeah, I'm not going to get what I want out of this. So well, let, let me let me say happen. one thing. Uh, don't worry about uh, losing matches. It's it's not real. Uh, you make you make a statement in the loss. You'll, they'll have you back. And, gotcha. and you'll be winning. You know what I mean? So don't don't sweat that. But but what you do is you you make you make him remember you you become uh it's like la night he's uh, you mm-hmm. can't deny he's undeniable now you know what i mean like People you want to see him yeah and so so that's what that's you, when you talk about intensity um and, and and probably not a great guy to talk about but 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 benoit um was one of the best workers i've ever been in the ring with because he barely touched you but he looked like he was killing you with everything oh God, he that did. Was and, like, it, was and like, it was because yeah. of his own intensity <laughs> You know yeah. what I mean? It, it didn't matter what you were doing. You could be selling like horrible, but he looked so vicious. It looked like, and so yeah. that's to hear Dramatic. that, that to hear you say it, I'm going to focus on that is, is super cool. And, and yeah, you want to be the baddest bee in the, in the, in the one, in the ring. Right. Yeah. And, and so, so that, that's super cool, man. Look, let, we're going to let you go, Kaya. Okay. I'm super happy that you, uh, I loved getting into the witch stuff, but I also love just hearing where you're at in your wrestling mind, uh, more so than your, than your body of work so far. And so head and shoulders above people I'm meeting, uh, with thank two you. years under their belt. That's for sure. Um, I had a good coach. So thank you. Yeah, so yes. Much. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Uh, just, he just happens to be the world heavyweight champion. Oh. Um, <laughs> so he's, 
You know, I would say he's the best in the world, but like 18 people would get mad about that. So, uh, but, but Kaya, thank you so much. We, you give the, give the, uh, social media accounts one more time, please. Um, it's at Kaya MCK. So K A I A M C K all yep. platforms. All oh. right. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you guys for having we'll me. I had a blast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll thank see you. you. Right. I'll see you on the road. <laughs> all right. Hopefully. Oh man, she's in, very interesting. Like very interesting and very man. She was she's a smart kid. Like, I, you know, I saw her. She seemed uh, like my child, but my child's really smart too. Bless her heart. Uh, but but like she seemed like a young kid to be that that smart. See her work. <laughs> that came uh, out wrong too. I'm sorry. <laughs> see her work uh, many times, and it was, you know what? When she was injured, uh, that's when I was like, man, she kind of gets it. I saw yeah. her. As much as she could, help with the ring. She was running the merch table. She was being around the business, right. not going, not sitting at home going, woe is me, I'm hurt, I should be out there. Yeah. Uh, like she said, people are skipping me in line. You know, instead of that, it's let me be seen. Let me learn yeah. these other aspects. Let me do this. Let me Smart still work. help the promotions uh, that she was involved with. So uh, great stuff. And uh, thank you, uh, Kaya, for coming yeah, on and hanging you. out with us. That was fun.